Welcome back. Um, after last week's video uh, where I soldered this together, uh, it's now time to program this. What I need is, of course, the module and I need a breadboard and I need some breadboard wires. I need some LEDs because I want to make this blink some LEDs and I need an Arduino. Um, I have made this one in a previous video, um, but because this is a 14 pin chip and this only supports an eight pin chip, uh, I'm still gonna need the Arduino to program this chip. So first things first, let's just put it in the breadboard. I'm gonna put it the other way around. Press it down. Now, what we have to do first is, uh, and I'm not gonna do that because I already did that. Um, I have to upload the Arduino as ISP sketch to this Arduino. Um, after that, to keep it from resetting itself, we need a capacitor between reset and ground. Make sure the negative goes to ground. And now all we have to do is hook up these wires. And as you can see, some of these are a bit bodged together. And that's because I didn't have enough of these uh, male to female hookup wires. So I'm just making a few as I'm going. I'm going to start with ground um, on the board. Don't know if you can see that. All the pins are labeled. So I'm just gonna start with ground, which is this one. And that connects directly to ground on the board, which is also on this side of the Arduino. Then I need VCC. The colors, of course, don't really matter, but I like to keep some consistency in the colors I use. I usually use red for VCC and white or black for ground, but I don't have red, so I'm just gonna use any. VCC is over here. That's five volts. And that goes to VCC over there. Now, if you open the Arduino ISP sketch, it tells you which pin is being used for what. Um, in this case, reset is going to be pin 10, which is over here. And over there. Next is pin 11 on the Arduino, which is Mosey which is over there. Then pin 12. That's my cell, which is over there. And the last one we need is the clock pin, and that's on 13 of the Arduino, if I can get it in. And the middle left on this board. Now, the first thing I need to do is open up the Arduino IDE and select the right board, which in this case is an 80 tiny 44. And I'm gonna use the clock internal eight megahertz and the port. Well, first I have to connect the Arduino and then it should show up. I have to open tools again and it's COM4 in my case. And then burn bootloader. There we go, that's done. That doesn't take very long. I've written a sketch so I can make some lights blink. In this case, it's uh, 
four outputs I'm using, uh, pin zero to four. I'm just gonna blink them every second or actually just changing their on off status every second. Just gonna have to go to tools again. Everything is still selected. Um, just make sure when uh, you're using your Arduino as an ISP, you select Arduino as ISP here underneath programmer. And now all I have to do is upload the sketch. There we go. It has been uploaded. Um, I have to go back to the IT Tiny and uh, remove some of the hookup cables and insert some LEDs into the breadboard and we should see something happening. So I'm just gonna disconnect the USB for now. I'll plug it back in later. Uh, I am gonna use the Arduino as a five volt power supply. So I'm gonna leave ground and VCC in there, but the rest I don't need anymore. I'm just gonna remove those. Oops. I accidentally pulled out VCC. Now I do also need ground for the LEDs. So I have one of these, actually I don't know what you call them, little hookup wires maybe. Um, that needs to go to a ground rail. And let me see. The ground is the top left pin. Gonna put that into a ground rail. And just hook up my LEDs. Now these LEDs, these have uh, some resistors soldered onto the legs. Um, I saw that somewhere and I thought that was a good idea because when I'm prototyping, I just quickly need an LED and then I don't have to worry about uh, a current limiting resistor because it's already on there. It's a, it's a pretty low value. It's 220 ohms, but that means that there's a decent amount of current flowing through them and uh, some nice brightness. So on the, uh, the AT Tiny board, I'm just gonna put in the, the LEDs. In this case, I use the current limiting resistor on the uh, anode. So that needs to go to the pin and the other pin, the cathode, goes to ground. So that's all the LEDs in. Um, gonna connect USB and hope it doesn't go bang. And it all works. Got some nice blinking LEDs. And that just shows me that the AT Tiny 44 is just as easy to program and to work with as uh, an AT Tiny 85. Only this has a few more output pins. So if you need some extra output pins, um, Tiny 44, that's a good alternative. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.